Okay. Number three, the solution that we have here is also the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the guarantee. So God make a way for us. Jesus is the way that God has provided. And it was sealed, guaranteed by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit of God. Look at John chapter 14, verse 16. And I will ask the Father and He will give you another helper to be with you forever, even the Spirit of truth. The Spirit is the guarantee for us. So, you see that? The God, the one true God who is... Uh, who has three different personalities, the God who made a way for us, Jesus who is the way for us, the Holy Spirit who sealed the way for us, they are at work in this privilege that we can come to God with the access in the throne of His grace. Now, without these three, you cannot have access in heaven. You have no access you are not given access to heaven without this one god okay who has sin in different three different personalities the father who works for our salvation who makes a way for us the lord jesus christ who is the way for us the holy spirit who sealed the way for us without this one god in three different distinct personality you will have no access in heaven. You will have no uh, privilege of using His name in your prayer. So the Holy Spirit is our guarantee. Now look at this. The Holy Spirit is our guarantee. Galatians chapter 4 and verse number 6. It says here, And because you are sons, God has sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Now that is a guarantee of the Holy Spirit. God has given us, God has sent us the Spirit of His Son. The Spirit is the Holy Spirit that God has given us. And the, and the Son of the Lord of God is the Lord Jesus Christ. And therefore, because we have God, we have the Holy Spirit, we have the Holy, Holy, uh, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ in our lives, we can cry to the Father, Abba, Father. Actually, that's a cry of a dear Father. There's a cry of endearment, according to the, 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 the meaning of this in the original. It is a cry of endearment to that Heavenly Father. Okay? You cannot cry to you to the heavenly Father unless you have what? You have the Spirit, unless you have the Son who is the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is a privilege for us. Okay? That is a privilege for us. God has given us the privilege to cry before the throne of our heavenly Father because God has given us the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, and God has given us the uh, that privilege through His Son. And that's why Jesus mentioned that that any prayer should be addressed to the Father in His name so that, okay, and by the help of the Holy Spirit so that God will answer our prayer. Okay? So this is just but an introduction of what will we be studying here? We will be talking about when Christ is known in our prayers. And I laid to you the foundation of the biblical foundation of having the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the reasons why people are not using the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in their prayers. Okay? Again, the problem was that men are sinners. And only God can draw us to Christ. God has made a way for us, so we'll be, we will be drawn to Christ. And that was also sealed by the Holy Spirit of promise. Well, you can pray in some other names. You can do it. But the, the thing is, God will not answer that prayer. The prayer that will only be answered if that prayer knows the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If that prayer is prayed in the Lord Jesus Christ. If that prayer is known by the Holy Spirit okay, of God. 
Well, maybe today you are here and you are joining with us, watching with us in our online worship. And my question is, what kind of prayer are you praying? Are you praying in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ? Okay, if not, then 100%, the Bible tells us, your prayer is not answered. Okay, but if your prayer is in the Lord Jesus Christ, then God, according to Christ, He may answer your prayer according to His will. If today you have not yet accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, maybe that is the reason why you are using you are not using the name of Christ, because you have been rejecting the Lord Jesus Christ in your life. But today, Christ has been or God has provided a way for us in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ came, He was born, He grew up, and then He He suffered and died there at the cross of Calvary for you. He also was resurrected from the dead after three days to prove and make himself known that he is indeed the Savior of the world, that he is indeed the God who is able to give his life back to life again. And he died for your sins. And the blood that he shed at the cross of Calvary is able to forgive all your sins. Would you like to accept him as your Lord and Savior? Would you like, I, like to ask forgiveness from your sins? Just call upon Him and say, Lord Jesus, I know I am a sinner. I cannot save myself. Come into my life. Forgive me of my sins. And make me the kind of person you want me to be. Or maybe you are here with us. You already have accepted the Lord. Praise the Lord for that. But are you using your power in prayer? Are you using the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that powerful name, that powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ in our prayers? Okay, let us pray that our prayers will be filled, will, that the Lord Jesus Christ will be known even in our prayers. Because great thing will happen and happens when we are praying in the name of of the Lord Jesus Christ. More to come on this topic as we will talk about this every Sunday on this January. Okay? But uh, this uh, this day we will we talk about the foundation, the biblical foundation of this prayer. Okay? And I pray that this also clarifies some issues of prayer in your life. Let us pray. Hello there. If this sermon has uh, blessed your life today, feel free to share this to others. And we also would like to encourage you to not only to share this, but also to subscribe not to our YouTube channel. We aim that uh, we can share the gospel to others uh, through this ministry. And by your subscription also, who knows, maybe God will bless our ministry here in YouTube. So we can also help other pastors and churches who also are suffering because of this pandemic. So just uh, subscribe and also click the notification bell so that whenever we upload videos, you will be notified. Okay, so thank you so much for your help. And uh, we pray that uh, through this ministry, you and I and here at the IBCF Ministries, we can reach others for the Lord Jesus Christ and we can introduce them to the kingdom of God. Thank you so much. May the Lord God bless you and your family.